I had no idea that I was gonna feel like this. <laughs> Last week on the vlog, I finished the grueling Spanish meseta. And while this was a huge achievement for me physically, emotionally, and mentally, this is not easy. I realized that there is still a roller coaster of emotion I am riding each day as I continue walking to Santiago de Compostela. Ooh, this is gonna be a crying day. As I begin this next section of my journey, I say goodbye to friends once again. Buen camino. Buen camino. It's always so difficult when people leave. And begin my travel alone from Lyon to the infamous Cruz de Ferro. Cruz de Ferro, or the Iron Cross, is a monument along the Camino de Santiago. At its base, a mound of rocks, shells, and mementos left behind by pilgrims has been forming over many years. It's an important stop along the way. And as I get closer, I find myself feeling all sorts of emotions as I explore why I'm really here, not just on the Camino, but just in life. It's another intense and introspective week on the Camino. I don't know, now I'm kind of like settling into the unknown. I'm Crystal, and this is Von Halle Adventures. So it's been a pleasure meeting you. Oh, YouTuber. See you on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so difficult when people leave. I really. Oh. Oh man, I really miss Mark. I just met him, and like probably three days ago, and it's difficult when people leave for all these different time periods of when we walk. I'm just feeling really sad and bummed about it. Oh, man. Uh, I'm having a really uh, emotional day. Yesterday, I was just felt like flying high and, and I think what's actually coming up for me right now is like, that I haven't really done anything of my life of value and uh, what's my worth in the world. And it's not like I don't think I've done nothing, but like of really a value that's really helped the world or done something significant. And I don't even know what that would be. There's nothing that I can think of that I'm good at or I want to do at this current point in time that can like change the world for better. And I guess I'm feeling the weight of the world right now. And uh, gosh, this feels like a midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm 37 years old and I feel like, what have I done? What, what years of my life have just flown by and I've had fun and I get to do something like this and I'm just walking and there's so much privilege in that to think about what I want to do with my life and everything. But at the same time, I think about if I was going to stop walking, what am I going to do? Like, what am I really doing with my life? And I want to be a value in the world, and I don't know what that looks like. I'm just having a... <sighs> I don't want to waste my life. Last night in bed, I asked my guides and spirit to guide me to... How can I be of great help and purpose in this world? And of course, I didn't get an immediate answer. <laughs> but I'm like wanting to get that immediate answer. So maybe today I'm just walking with patience and walking and being in my sadness and allowing myself to just be sad and let go rather than forcing an answer. Oh, and I have a climb ahead of me today. I had no idea that I was gonna feel like this. It just feels really difficult right now. <sighs> So I think it's time to go walk. Walk with this, not try to walk it off, but to try to walk with this. Place. 
Oh, it felt like I was just being really held in a beautiful space to just work through stuff. But gotta keep walking. Oh, this is gonna be a crying day up the mountain. <laughs> so many adorable little kittens at that cafe. Oh, I really wanted to take one and put it in my backpack, but they were not having it. They were so cute. Oh. Ah, but I must walk without a cat. I'm catless. That was such a nice stop for lunch. Wishes I was staying down here. It's just like this really lovely village in Rabanal del Camino. There's camping. It's just a really cute little place. But I'm starting now to go up the mountain. So I should definitely warm up here. Oh my God, it looks like they have smoothies. What? Look at this. It seems the closer I get to Santiago, like I'm finding these villages that are very vegan friendly. Like as I leave, I believe I'm still in the area of Lyon, like the state, the province, or I'm not quite sure what it's called, but as I'm getting to Galicia, it seems like there's a lot more fruit and veg, which is nice. The Masada really had none. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to this part of being in the mountains. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna take one of these blessings. I feel like I could really need it today. See what it says. Oh, okay, let's read this. Wanderer. Your footsteps are the road and nothing more. Wanderer, there is no road. The road is made by walking. By walking, one makes the road. And upon glancing behind, one sees the path that never will be trod again. Wanderer, there is no road. Only wakes upon the sea. Antonio Machado, Campos de Castilla. up to Cruz de Ferro. We have a little bit left of Fontbaden. I feel really at home right now because I'm in the woods up above. The whole smell, everything, the environment totally changed from this morning. 
it's we're in the woods and there's wildflowers and mountains it's really beautiful and it's definitely like getting more of a workout I'm really appreciating that because I've been wanting to kind of push the rest of my body not just my feet now my feet don't actually hurt which is really interesting I guess but uh, now I just now the rest of my body is finally getting a little bit of a, a push it feels really good it's really quiet this afternoon I, since I've been taking my time I'm taking a long time today just hanging out it feels really good just to kind of enjoy enjoy the pace that I want to go on and I don't know this morning was really really difficult for me and I don't know now I'm kind of like settling into the unknown I guess I would say every day feels like a roller coaster right now of emotion I've got some journaling to do wish I had something more epic to say to you all but I really don't other than if you think about coming on the Camino Whew, it's gonna teach you something that's for sure I'm already here I had my headphones on I went really fast I was in a zone I almost don't want to stop walking I feel like I could go for another 20 kilometers this is getting like, I don't know, I don't want to say out of body experience, but wow, I was just feeling really magical this afternoon. This place is awesome. It has a, like everything you would need for the most part. Okay. Aw, that's cute. And the food is open. This is one of the few places where the market and the food are open. They have so much food and everything downstairs, like all day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's nice. I'm staying here two days right next to Cruz de Ferro. And the reason I think I did that is um, originally, which makes sense now, is uh, so I could meditate on um, what I was releasing, what I was letting go. I'll talk more about Cruz de Ferro in a bit. But it's cute. It has a really good energy. He said laundry, it's only uh, 10 euros. And I have my own bathroom. Ooh. It was uh, 40 euros a night. I saw a place though down the street here in Fonsbaden that said free beds. So just so you know. <gasps> Beautiful view. Yeah, this has a really good energy. I like this one a lot already. Right now I'm headed to Cruz de Ferro. And I wanted some time to reflect before I did this because even though I've been walking <laughs> every day has been a reflection, I I just wanted some time to journal and to go here and feel into what I was actually putting down and I've been carrying this rock for a while now. So today as I was in reflection, I was thinking, what am I really putting down? Like, is this even something I really want to do? And what really started to come through is that I asked myself, well, what am I leaving behind on this Camino? And the one thing that was coming through is this older version of myself, my life before this. I don't want to go back to the life I had before the Camino. I'm not the same person and I still have like two weeks left, which seems like it's getting so close. I've been out here on the Camino six weeks now and I don't want the same life I had. And it's hard to put that into words of what that looks like and I'm not ready to share that with all of you or with the world because I, it, it's still germinating. I'm still laying those seeds down, so to speak. But that's what I'm leaving behind is my past, myself, really. I have like a kilometer uphill to go. Can tell I'm hesitating here, <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Okay, many freak out, many freak out. I think there's a fence, but there's a bunch of bowls in a in a field. Okay, they have horns. 
And let's just say I am fucking terrified of them right now. I'm just not gonna look their way. I have no interest. Oh my God, this is terrifying right now, you guys. Do you see this? Just keeping my heart rate low. Oh, please don't make noise. I really hope that fence is truly is there. Oh, those cows are pretty fucking giant. <sighs> not scared of people. Scared shitless of animals. Well, not kittens. I think we've all figured that one out right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Literally, my worst fear is animals attacking me. <sighs> oh god. Okay, I did it. Look at all of them. Way too close for comfort for me. Huh. This may sound a bit odd, but this is the Cruciferia is right on the highway. Like on the highway. You don't see that in the films. I don't even think I've seen it in anybody's YouTube. But it's just right next to the highway. It doesn't ruin it or anything, just just energetically for me is a little different than I expected. Huh. I gotta take some time to sit and contemplate before I put down my stone. This feels a bit odd to be here right now. I thought I would feel something more. And I don't. I don't even know if I want to put my stone down. This is a really weird feeling. I'm not quite sure what to do about it. One of the things this walk has taught me is to lean into what I'm feeling without running away from it. I'm learning to trust myself and my intuition more. So maybe the lesson today is that I need to be more intentional in my choices. allow myself time to sit with what's right for me, even if it's different than everyone else around me. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I've been hanging out here for a good hour now, I think. It just doesn't feel right to leave my stone. And pardon me, I was wondering if I was having resistance to leaving it. It doesn't feel like that. It's just not the right time. I think I'm not done with whatever is coming through me right now. And I'll know when the time is right. And just because everybody else is doing it, and this is like the place, uh, doesn't mean I need to do it. And uh, yeah, for everybody else, that's it's beautiful and it's great. And not for me right now. So I keep my stone. 
and I'll know. I'll know when the time is right before I leave the Camino to place it down. I trust that I will, <laughs> at least. <sighs> yeah, so complete. Thank you.